Hey guys, it's me, Summer, and I'm on YouTube. I'm here to give you a detailed recipe on my whole roasted lamb. I will try to do this more often with more recipes, especially those recipes like a whole roasted lamb that need more details. Like for instance, I'm trimming off the fat on my lamb. Now you can order it pre-trimmed, but I ordered the whole roasted lamb and saved myself money at Zaz Wholesale. Now the reason I trim off the fat is because the fat is what makes your lamb slightly gamey. So trimming off that fat is ideal. Even though the fat makes it tender, you don't want to eat it. It's kind of weird. Anyways, I'm adding yogurt because yogurt tenderizes your meat. Then on with some steak seasoning, salt, pepper, some vegeta seasoning, salt, salt, um, any kind of like seasoning packet you have in your closet. I have everything measured. Um, all spice or seven spice. Now, seven spice is a Middle Eastern spice that they put together for you, but if you don't have any all spice, we'll do fine with some added cinnamon, cardamom, coriander. Now, I did add a little bit of cumin. I also added some whole uh, spices like cardamom, um, garlic, which is a vegetable, but also works as an herb, some bay leaves, and then I started to rub everything into my lamb. Now, it's very important that you marinate your lamb for at least 24 hours. Now, let me tell you something. If you marinate this lamb for 48 hours, it's really going to develop a nice flavor. I also added a little bit of cinnamon that kind of curves that gamey flavor of lamb, and I'm scoring my lamb. You see, when you score your lamb, you expose the inner flesh, allowing your lamb to absorb all that flavor. Now you're going to see that I use a lot of aluminum foil, heavy duty aluminum foil. Excuse the fact that you're probably going to have to use an entire roll, but guys, it's because we don't have a Dutch oven big enough to fit our whole roasted lamb. Therefore, we're using lots of aluminum foil. Now, with this whole roasted lamb, I stuffed it with grape leaves. Isn't it fabulous? Now, with grape leaves or anything that's rice-filled, you want to make sure they're slightly cooked or you're going to add enough liquid. What I did is I cooked my grape leaves slightly, then I put them in the middle or the center of or in between the breasts of the lamb, and the lamb will push it down. I mean, you guys, this is genius. The only reason I did this was for you guys, and... All that slow roasted lamb flavor went into those grape leaves. Just make sure you add enough liquid. Um, now, once again, I aluminum foil wrapped it and I placed it into the oven on confect at 425 degrees. It was a big lamb. Halfway through, I opened it up. Remember, I told you guys you need enough liquid. Add like 10 cups of liquid. Who cares if there's extra? My problem was the pan wasn't big enough, so it leaked on my oven, but that's okay. When I was ready to serve it, I let it rest for about a half hour and it was gorgeous. Like, watch this, guys. Just peel apart delicious. When it came out of the oven, I couldn't resist but to taste it. It was fork tender in those grape leaves. By the way, next time I make this, I'm just going to stuff it with rice and meat. Doing all that work with the grape leaves was fabulous, but it would have been better with rice.